Hello YouTube. We're here doing some network testing and I'm currently in the area of the Springfield, Virginia corridor, what they call the mixing bowl, just outside of Washington, DC, on my way to uh, Greenville, North Carolina. And I wanted to do this network testing as I'm going towards rural America. And as you can see, um, Verizon and T-Mobile, Verizon being on the right and T-Mobile being on the left, look pretty good where I'm sitting at. And uh, the supercharger at, just outside the Beltway near the um, Springfield Mall. So I wanted to correspond the heat map with their respective companies to what we you should be seeing. Right now we are in non standalone for T-Mobile at band 66, 20 megahertz. And then Verizon in 77 and band 2, 15 megahertz. And of course T-Mobile with N41 at 100 megahertz. So let's see, Verizon is at 100 megahertz also. So we let's see what the networks have to offer. Speed test and speed test. All right, so T Mobile's are we already did T Mobile, so we're at five hundred and eighty four down and one twenty four up. So their map is corresponding directly with what you're seeing. And of course, Verizon's coming in at 412 down and 71 up. So the maps are looking pretty decent right now. So let's close that. And go speedtest.com and Verizon finally comes into the game T-Mobile's at 827 down and like it's going to be about 69 up And Verizon is at 704 down. Their upload is 76, 77 up. All righty. So let's see what they look like for fast. Uh, you're supposed to have uncapped data when you're on Verizon. I we're getting pretty decent, um, about 550 down, and on T-Mobile is 680 down. Imperv completing the task is not is the is one of the bigger factors. But also we're speed testing the network at the same time. So three, two, one, go. Both of them look good. T-Mobile's inking out a little bit more for the upload. Not much, but just a little bit. But Verizon's already moved on to the uh, web browsing. T-Mobile is just now starting the web browsing test. All right. 
Verizon's accessing the web a whole lot faster than T-Mobile is. And we're moving to the video. Three sixty P Verizon's already moved on to the seven twenty P. T Mobile is lagging behind. Ten eighty P. Verizon is already at on ten eighty P now. And they're done. So Verizon at eight thirteen down and fifty six up. Very good showing. Browsing and streaming still very good on their network. T-Mobile's at 770, 778 down and 79 up. Browsing and streaming still good. T-Mobile got the latency a little bit, little bit better than Verizon did, but they were accessing the web a whole lot faster. So, the next thing to do is to put them directly ahead up against each other for download. Download over the web. Three, two, one, go. Nineteen percent. Ooh, eighty seven. Uh, T Mobile is blazing. When you give them full capacity, you can't beat it. Verizon should be doing a lot better given the fact that I say a couple of the tests, Verizon was showing a lot more improvement. Uh, they might still need to just tune their network. N77 is still new in the DC metro area. But as we start moving out towards the country, it, uh, Verizon's network should be shining a lot better than uh, T-Mobile's. Uh, but there you go. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm open up to um, any uh, anything you might be thinking about. Let me know what you think, and we'll ha you have a good one.